crabbing and fishing on the pier sure looks like fun. What else do you do on the pier? Well, uh, I'm a walker, and I love to go out on the pier and see the beautiful views of Pacifica that you just really can't see anywhere else. And for the first time, we see almost as many people walking on the pier as fishing. I see wheelchairs and baby carriages for families that are having picnics on the pier, and they bring their radios, and they spend the afternoon and have a good old time. I also have a dog, and we walk our dog down the promenade in front of the pier, talk to other dog owners, and the Chit Chat Cafe is really a wonderful addition to the pier. Not only do people fish, but I'm a walker, and for the first time, I found that uh, as, almost as many people are walking on the pier as fishing. I love to see the beautiful views of Pacifica. And a lot of people come every day for their cup of coffee at the Chit Chat Cafe. And right next to it are the only restrooms on the pier, so that's a wonderful advantage too. And beginning three years ago, Pops wanted to have a celebration on the pier. So we had parties on the pier, and Dave Freeman sang for us last year. That party looked like a lot of fun. Jean, can you tell us a little bit about the shops that are around? Well, the two bait shops are wonderful because there's a two-pole limit on the pier, and one of the poles are usually a lighter pole that they fish for bait and light fish, and the other that they zing out to get the stripers and all those interesting things, the big fish on that. Hi, I'm Cheryl, and we've been in the business of helping people and answering questions for probably 30 years between my husband and myself. We don't mind getting phone calls. Glad to talk to you. We have a beautiful pier here that's very long, whole lots of people for crabbing and fishing. Lindemar Beach is sheltered and it's got a lot of sand for the kids to play while you're fishing or they can fish with you. The water's very calm there. Uh, Rockaway is a good place. We have an RV park here that a lot of people stay in come crabbing season or, or salmon fishing season. We have gas stations and stores. Most anything you'd need is right here very locally. If you have any questions or you need anything, just give me a call or stop in. I'm a block and a half from the pier or the beach. Take care, have good fishing, and bye. Check these out. These are saltwater pile worms. Wow. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> you have to name them. Yeah, Jesus, that's, that's Bowser. <laughs> Five for four bucks.
Okay, good deal, good deal. Okay. Those, um, those saltwater pile worms come from Maine. In fact, they were on an episode of Dirty Jobs. This size, you take them with your thumb right here, you pinch them in half. And then you use the head, and then you can use the tail. Because when you cast them, if you over torque it, you're going to blow the tail off anyway. The tail will just fly off. Hi, I'm Mark Glisson from New Coast Side Bait and Tackle in Pacifica, California. We're just a few blocks uh, away from the Pacifica Pier. Uh, we do a lot, quite a bit of fishing off the pier. Striped bass, salmon. Every once in a while we'll see uh, a halibut or so. And there's quite a few perch as well. In the wintertime it's Dungeness crab season. So we fish quite a bit for Dungeness crab using not only crab nets, but we'll use things that are called snares. Crab snare is a little apparatus that we put bait inside of. Crabs crawl on top of these. We yank them up and snare them and then reel them up onto the pier. These are pretty cheap. You can use these with your fishing pole. They work pretty well. I'd say seven out of every ten crabs are caught with these. A lot of times we like to catch our own live bait. We would use something called a sabiki rig. A sabiki rig is a main line with six little branch lines hanging off of it. They're pretty inexpensive. We put a little weight on the bottom of the sabiki rig, drop it off the pier, jig it up and down a couple times, and it fills up with live bait. When we measure our Dungeness crab, they have to be five and three quarters inches. The official regulations call for a fixed measuring device. That would be one of these little guys, and they're pre-cut at five and three quarters. When you want to measure a Dungeness crab, you're going to measure on the inside of the tips. You're not going to count the tips. You're going to measure on the inside. So you take your little measuring device and you lay one end on the inside. And as long as the crab is larger than this five and three quarter cutout, it's a good crab. For instance, I just had this crab this morning for breakfast. And it's a large one. It's well over seven inches. It's a keeper. For sport fishermen, you can keep female crabs. But during this time of the season, they usually have a sack of eggs on them. And we like to throw them back just for the future population of the crabs. So give us a call anytime you like. Um, we're close to Pacific Pier. Come down to the pier. You'll meet a lot of new friends. You'll get some fresh air. You'll catch some crabs, and you'll have a great time. That video is very informative about the shops and what they have to offer, offer here in Pacifica. Uh, let's summarize all the things that, that Pacifica can offer people who want to come to the pier. So we have the, the bait shops. They can get everything they need here. Uh, to go fishing and crabbing. What else is there they have? Well, the pier itself is a wonderful family gathering place. It's open every day of the year, and especially in the winter where uh, the ground is wet and the sand is soggy. It offers a level place for people to walk. A lot of people walk it every day for their exercises. And also, it is putting Pacifica on the recreation map of the state. A lot of people come here to fish, and they find out about the shops on Palmetto, and they, they do those shops, and they stay in our hotels, and they keep coming back. So it's making Pacifica a really important visiting place, tourist attraction. Now, Pops has been key in the success of keeping the pier viable. Can you tell me some of the success stories of, of Pops? Yes, well, you know, Pops not only is preserving the pier, but Pops is saving the pier. Because back in 2000, we got a real scary engineering report that said if we didn't make some repairs pronto, the pier could fall and we would lose it. So rather quickly, we got this over a million dollars, and, and the city did the work. We were only supporting it. But over a million dollars in repairs, which, uh, repaired the bottom of the pier, uh, remodeled the old bait shop so that now we have the Chit Chat Cafe. And we also promote the pier with our party at the pier, and we monitor the pier. So when we see something that needs to be done, we bring it before the city council, they get grants, and they get the work done. Also, uh, at our last party of the pier, a representative from Jerry Hill's office, our state assemblyman, gave us accommodation from the whole state assembly. And the uh, city council has also given us a proclamation because now we're celebrating our 10th anniversary year. That's, that's wonderful. What are some of the upcoming events for the pier? 
Well, one thing, those long-awaited memorial benches are going to be constructed so that the fishermen will have a place to put their things and we can sit and enjoy the views of the pier. I understand there are going to be about 12 of them and they hope to get them up and running after the first of the year. And also, uh, we're in big crabbing season and I know that Jean has a lot to say about that. Well, we're very fortunate that for over 15 years, the American Legion has the veterans coming from the VA hospital in Palo Alto down for a morning of fishing on the pier. And our two bait shops, they offer the bait and many and lot of the equipment. And this is the most outstanding thing that they look forward to it. And after words, they take them up to the American Legion Hall for a wonderful lunch. And those veterans just love it. And it's so fun to participate in that for the community. We really need your help in preserving and supporting our peer. This is a citizen supported organization, not only in Pacifica, but people come from all over the state of California. So if you want to help us, we encourage donations in any amount send us your check or you can donate uh, on online at pacificapeerpops.com. We really would like you to become members so that you can be active in our organization. We offer lifetime family memberships, individual memberships for $25. Not every year, but just once, because if everyone gave $25, we would have money to, re uh, to repair the pier. And also, if you would like to volunteer, give us a call at 557-9097. Well, you know, the Pacifica Pier is open 365 days a year and people come from all over the states, uh, not only to fish, but to enjoy our hotels and restaurants. So we want to encourage you all to come to Pacifica and see the pier. I think the interesting thing is to watch the wonderful expression on the children's face when they reel up their first fish that they've ever caught and then to see it wiggle and everything. And they are so delighted with that that they want to show it to their whole family and everybody around them. You can see this show and all Pacifica Current shows on Pacifica Current's TV show YouTube channel. We'll leave this evening with more music from the pier with Ian Butler and Bill Oates. Enjoy. Come on.